Welcome back folks, today we're going to talk about a topic that has been shared to me even before Cyberpunk 2077 came out, specifically about CD Projekt working on multiplayer games for The Witcher and Cyberpunk. And usually what is sent to me are job postings that might signal what they're working on by the people they're looking for, so I went through all of that info for my own theory and what this means, but keep in mind this is just a theory and might be completely wrong, so let's begin. Speaking of cyberpunk multiplayer, before 2077 came out, we had a few rumors that CDPR was working on a multiplayer version of the game or at least testing it out to see how is it going to work. CDPR also hired Gabriel Amantangelo as a creative director during that time in 2020 and Gabriel is important because he was involved in multiplayer or online titles before, even creating his own called Breach which was 4v1 multiplayer title which sadly never went out from beta if I can remember, and I actually played that beta a long time ago and I don't even remember how I got the access. But then after Cyberpunk 2077 was released and while well, everything that happened happened, CD Projekt had to change their strategy, which probably resulted in some initial testing projects getting scrapped. Now during 2021, Gabriel Amantangelo moved from the position of creative director into game director, meaning with that role he will have a lot more creative input and influence over the projects. At the same time, his background doesn't automatically signal multiplayer, since people can do other jobs based on the wishes of the studio itself. But again, keep in mind that Adam Kaczynski, CEO of CD Projekt, has stated previously that they are willing to push their IPs and develop multiplayer games as well in them because of the market and how it works today. As a studio, you can have a single player game that sells really well, like The Witcher 3 for example, which still is one of the major money makers for their studio, and is performing better in that sense than Cyberpunk, but even Cyberpunk sold in big numbers. On the other hand, creating an online multiplayer game today is a huge risk, meaning if it fails, ultimately you won't be able to support it and have to shut it down, ultimately wasting development time, while single player game can achieve sales in the long run. But at the same time, if your multiplayer game is a hit, that will bring a huge amount of money into your studio like GT Online is for Rockstar Games. So for CD Projekt, and I think they understand this, that one game which fails can be a problem for the studio, so I am not surprised that they are taking this slowly. Going back to Cyberpunk multiplayer, first we have to keep in mind that they are ditching Red Engine after the expansion and going into Unreal Engine, so automatically that next possible Cyberpunk multiplayer game would be made there since it makes more sense overall, you don't abandon the engine and then continue to use it for new projects. Because maintaining and upgrading the engine itself is a costly business which they probably don't want to go into again. But even with that said, Cyberpunk is a strong IP for CDPR. Problematic history but strong IP. So leaving it would be dumb and because right now they're working on a new Witcher game, which is the single player one, at least I hope, that would leave the other part of the company to go and test out possible Cyberpunk multiplayer and see what formula works. From the hirings themselves we can see that the Vancouver CDPR studio is looking for a multiplayer programmer which will collaborate with teams in Poland and that person will be responsible for coordinating multiplayer requirements and designing and implementing cutting edge network solutions. Also down here under qualifications we have mention of lag, prediction and correction which is related of course to games that are higher in intensity and require precision and below it see experience with first person perspective games, especially shooters. Again, this doesn't say, oh yeah, CDPR is developing cyberpunk multiplayer, then, you know, that right now, but rather I think testing to see what formula would work, because if that one formula they test work, they will continue to make it. If it doesn't, I don't think it will happen until that happens. Now let's look at something different. On the other side we have the Molasses Flood studio which was acquired by CD Projekt a while back now. Molasses Flood made two titles, those being Flame in the Flood and Drake Hollow, both survival games in their nature, where Drake Hollow was actually a co-op multiplayer game that you can play alone but also up to four players. So their background does have two things which are somewhat of a pattern, survival and recently co-op. And then when CD Projekt bought them, they did say they're working on their own idea, but it is in CD Projekt's IPs. 
And looking at the requirement website, we can see that they are looking for a lead multiplayer designer and multiplayer designer that is going to implement and oversee the work of designing a game from concept to finish. And also have experience in Unreal Engine 4, experience in procedurally generated levels and design experience with systems heavy action games. So in conclusion, one can look at this and say, so what is this game? Is some sort of a survival co-op game or a multiplayer game in general? And it would make sense. Keep in mind though that Molasses Flood Studio is not huge. They don't simply have enough people to create a big multiplayer title. It simply wouldn't work. So based on their experience, they will probably focus on something smaller that has more repetitive formula fit for a co-op multiplayer, probably maintaining that up to like four player aspect. But again, that next game could be single player and these hirings might be for future projects. I wouldn't exclude that possibility. And because I doubt they will be working in Red Engine, they will just probably stick to Unreal Engine 4 or 5. People mentioned Unity. Yes, it's possible, but since CD Projekt did that deal with Epic recently, Unreal sounds like a more plausible engine choice and also something which is more logically business related. So is that going to be Witcher or Cyberpunk? Well, personally I think it might be the Witcher universe, even though actual game formula remains mystery for now. I don't think it's Cyberpunk because of everything that happened, but I wouldn't completely exclude it because it can might as well happen. As Adam Kaczynski said before about going into multiplayer, I am not surprised that in the background things are most likely being put in motion. How are they going to be received and if basically those projects are going to be good is yet to be seen. And also how is that going to work for monetization they might actually include in those multiplayer games. Generally, if that Molasses Flood game is up to 4 people co-op and can be played solo, they won't need microtransactions for it, but going from Gwent, it is possible it's there. Gwent has MTX, but as far as people have been saying so far, it's optional and not predatory. And this is what I think about it so far. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Right now, the timeline is Witcher 3 Next Gen Upgrade then Cyberpunk 2077 expansion, and after that there is a gap which I think where the Molasses Flood game fits, so I wouldn't expect it in 2023, where even 2024 is a question. And as far as Cyberpunk multiplayer is concerned, that is also something we have to wait for a long time to see in my opinion. A Cyberpunk online game would have to be bigger in nature and poses a greater risk to release and that's something I don't think CDPR is going to be handling right now. Just look at how long it takes them to develop their projects and don't think those things are gonna be happening fast. And at the end of the day, we're going to see how Unreal Engine 5 suits them overall. But yeah, this is everything we have for today. So in conclusion, my theory, Molasses Flood is going to be a co-op game set in The Witcher and Cyberpunk like multiplayer is going to be sometimes in the works, but right now I'm not going to expect it anytime soon. And that's what I think about it, of course. Tell me down below what do you think about this and if you enjoyed this video subscribe and like and join our community on Twitter and Discord. And also huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone. Bye bye.